Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Papa Meerkat, and we are back in Portal uh, Portal Nights. I was about to say Porter 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 Lands. <laughs> I don't know what that is. All right, in this episode, what I would like to do is I want to go fight that first boss. I think my armor is sufficient enough. I can come back and help him later. Or her. Yeah, it looks like a her. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to that desert place. And we're going to go and see if we can get that key. Alright. Boss fighting time. Probably everybody just heard me itching my arm. <laughs> Alright. Do I talk to you? Those Sathiris cultists. They're up to no good. I mean, they're always up to no good. They're cultists. But, I've been reading some of the ancient sacred texts and the shape of the relic they carried down there. I think it's used to locate a great beast. Do you know about the great beasts? I mean, it's all apparatural. I have no idea what that word is. But they're uh, supposedly huge, powerful, ancient creatures. So needless to say, I, it would probably be bad if the Sithiris weirdos figured out how to use that thing. Think you can get get it back? Is it down below? Great, I know it's got some kind of latent magical power. It's only a matter of time before they figure it out. But how can we get it back? Brute force? Some kind of trade? I'm just spitballing here. They have a uh, dig site nearby. You could check it for some uh, other important looking relic. Hey, you. Oh, don't fall down. Oh. So I'm going to go down here. Hopefully this is where she wants me to go. Got him. Whoa. Good thing your fireballs go down to the ground. They tend to fall, and because they tend to fall, just back up a little bit, and you're good. Cthulhu? The heck is that? How'd you hit me? Man. Wow. That big menacing octopus man barely even hurt me. <clears throat> yep, I will take all that good awesome stuff. I like finding those repair sharpening stones. Alright, let's head on this way. I got still good. I like in my episode, last episode, I gotta be careful pushing the uh, shift key over and over again. You get sticky keys. 
I would like to know how to disable that feature because I never will use it. Now we got another path on this side. Refined wood. Yeah. Oh, that, that is impossible to dodge. Armor flask, nice. I think these are breakable. Or not. Oh, they are. Glowing sandstone. They just take a lot to break, but hey, you get some good stuff from them. Water bomb. <clears throat> Just hopefully I won't have a huge coughing fit I did like I did yesterday in my last episode. I just got over a sickness, so expect that here and there till it's over. I'll do my best not to cough. But when your throat itches so bad, it's hard not to. Glowing sandstone, I wonder if it has a use besides building. Alright, let's go over here. Let's put a wood. Ah, uh, never mind. Can't put up something into an, a full box. Alright, this place is kind of big. Let's figure out where I need to go. Not down here. Feels like I need to sneeze all of a sudden. Yay. Just one problem after another. With me. <laughs> Man, your guys' spell really sucks. Oh, we got ourselves a chest. Beautiful. Level 13. Recipe for statue of Al Alagather. Uh, that's a weird name. So let's use that. Why not? I need to keep that, put that somewhere. I don't want to lose it. Man, I got a lot of junk on me. I still got one of those bridges from last episode. There you go. Have a couple of blocks. Let's see what else can I get rid of? Can I get rid of this? There we go. Wasted, wasted material right there. Just try to empty out my inventory. And if I remember, you can come back and pick this stuff up later on. As long as you put it in a place where you can pick it up. If you just throw it on the floor, it will despawn. So if you don't want to actually get rid of it, always like put them down or put them in a box. Good bit of information for you guys. Just hopefully somebody's going to watch my videos. Most of the time, people don't. I asked on Twitter recently. I was like, how do you even get noticed? Like, not just for YouTube. I'm guessing, you know, just anything. I just don't know how to get noticed. Not unless you spend huge amounts of money. But I have no huge, huge amounts of money. I actually don't have any money at all. So... I have to do this by me, myself, and I. Not paying somebody to get me some new subscribers or 
What not? Ooh, this one has three spaces. Okay, let's see. What can I put away? Let's put away this wheat. I don't need classic seat. I already have that one. Let's look here. Scroll of healing. Nice. This one's skull lantern or light. Hey, so let's take a bunch. But say they give you healing potions, they give you money. Wow, there's a lot of torches out of that one. But if anybody watches my videos and make it this far, please say, you know, help me out. Tell me how do I get noticed. You know, I've tried a lot of different things. I know most people would be like, hey, uh, you got to pay YouTube a certain amount of money. And then they recommend your content. Otherwise, you get, you're pretty much invisible like a hobbit. Or the predator. It's just something I would like to know. Some help from the community would would help me out. Cause I just, I seem really invisible. It's all this work I put into these videos, all the time and effort. It just feels like nobody nobody can see my stuff. Or it's just people don't care about what I'm playing. I like to play newer stuff, but most newer stuff sucks. AAA gaming has gone down the trash hole. What is this? A brazier? It looks clickable though. It's like glowing like you can click on it. Instead of a scarab beetle. You got a frog. Aha. Is this the artifact I've been looking for? Well, I got some spaces in here, so let's dump off some of this stuff. Recipe for statue of C cathode. Cathode ray tube. Never used these before. Temporary traps an enemy holding them still while you plot your next move. Got 38 of the glowing sandstone. Increases armor by 30% for 2 minutes. Ooh. Scroll of teleportation. I never use these things. And I think, I've, like I said, I've never used them. But I think what they do is they, they teleport you randomly on the island that you're on. So if you want to get it, like if I use it right now, one of those teleport scrolls, it'll teleport me somewhere up above, or somewhere else in this island. And that could be a really bad thing. Yep, that's the mask I needed. Let's break these sarcophagi. So far, I think this is the biggest dungeon I've ever run into. This thing's huge. Most dungeons in this game are quite small. Let's move on over back this way. We did have that extra area that we missed earlier. Want to search it too, just because of loot. I hope everybody's enjoying my videos. May not be the best player out there, but eh. I'm doing this for the fun of it. For you guys. Do I have anything I can put in there? Curse scroll. I don't know if I, I kind of want to try one of those out to see if it's even worth it. 
Well, let's put this in here now. <laughs> Derpity derp, right? Well, I don't really have anything else to give up. What's this? Scroll of healing, which is useful. I might put those down in my hot bar. Ah, I see an item I can get rid of. Right down there, that candle. Damn. Yeah, like I said earlier, if you don't want, if you want to use these things like this right here as decoration later on, just remember to put them in a box or put them down somewhere, and just remember where you left them, because you can come back and pick it up. Make sure my tool is up to specs. <laughs> Got some more spots here. Recipe for small brazier. Hope I can get to a boss fight in this episode. This dungeon alone is taking a while. Oh. Which is cool though, because I don't mind a big dungeon. I'm not, I'm not the type of person that likes exploration. And, and if I pay, play like an action RPG, like Diablo, I literally will search the entire map until it's open. Because uh, if you know, if you play like uh, most of action RPGs that have a map on them, they have a fog of war effect that you have to uncover. And I usually clear the entire map. That's how I usually play. Haha, <laughs> you missed me. Ah, yeah? What does that mean, huh? Maybe it's not a good idea to break these. They keep giving me blocks. Oh, copper. Nice. You know, I don't really need copper. Right, do I have any space in here? I got one, two. Put these away in here. I don't need all these mana potions either, because I don't use mana. Pretty soon I want to build one of those uh, enchanting tables. They're not really enchanting tables, but... The one, the, the table that allows you to build magics. Well, that certainly bears all the markings of a Sethiris relic. You may have the upper hand in these negotiations. Now, how to make the tree? You gotta wear it. Why are you giving me mana potions? With that Sethiris mask in hand, I'm sure you could make a trade for that relic. As long as they don't know the mask is worthless. But how to get close enough to their leader to take make the trade? I have an idea. Why don't you just wear the mask? I don't think any rank and file cultist would dare bother an envoy of Sethiris. Their leader would surely see through the ruse, but he's the only one you need to talk to. Then all that's left to do is head down there and find the cultist leader. His name starts with a Z. Zipa? Zamba? Something like that? Yeah, something like that. Alright. Now we gotta go ahead in there. But first, we gotta put the mask on. And I did level up, so I gotta make sure to spend my points. Let's do this. Yeah, two more attack damage. Uh, I'm okay with that. And you gotta get rid of your helmet for a moment. There. Oh, I still got the bee head. Not the bee head. There we go. <laughs> ah, that looks funny. Oh yeah, and I did have the bumblebee wings. I got them in the mail. As well. There, there we go. That'll work, right? I'll trick anybody.
That's the statue, the uh, blueprint for the statue I got was that. So I can make the big alligator statue. Before these guys shoot at you, now they grovel or kneel down because I'm wearing the mask. And you gotta talk to this guy. And that's the artifact I need for the boss fight. Come on now. I'm no fool. I know you're a buddy mortal in a mask. An important mask, mind you, that my servants have been searching for to no avail. As two reasonable people, surely we could come to some sort of a deal. Say, that mask for this relic, yes? It is, to, uh, it is of course, a relic of great import. Who could say what power it holds? What say you, shall we trade? Yes. Then we have a deal. Simply give me that mask, and the relic is yours. I am a man of my word. Enjoy your worthless relic. Bam. And look at this smile he gained. <laughs> you got something to trade? Oh, a curse. Sithir's mask replica. Is these armor? No. Just cosmetics? I like this cape though. Number one fan base. Wow. I'm gonna buy one of these capes. Large stone bricks wall. Oh, okay. It's a long block. Bricks. Glowing sandstone. Replica of the worm totem piece. Well, I'm gonna wear me a cape. Oh, so it's only in vanity. Dang. I was hoping to give me some kind of bonuses. Well, that's neat. Alright. Well, we are almost at the point of fighting the boss. Well, this has got a little bit more room in here. Don't have really much to give away right now. Alright, so I think what I need to do, I need to go here. Actually, it's the Garnet, Pe Garnet Peaks. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna head back to my homestead and see if I can put anything away. My inventory is really full. Now this is where the portal is, and it's over there, uh, maybe. Does look like the portal I need. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the homestead here. Now we need to put some stuff away pretty badly. My inventory is in a bad shape. Because bosses do drop some stuff, so... I'd rather have empty spaces to pick up said items. Because they, I think they could drop some good stuff. I'm not 100% sure about that. I don't need to activate sticky keys. Alright. Drop off anything I do not need. Yep. More stuff I don't need. Thank you. I'm opening up a tiny bit of space, nothing too great. What is this? Hmm. I feel like I need to make another chest. I do have some space here though. You know, I'd like to have a whole chest just for, um,. Well, a whole chest for the um, portal shards. I like to have a better chest than the wooden one. Because wooden ones, of course, they are 
small. Alright, so portal shards. I'm gonna keep a stack of 50. There we go. What I could do is look back here and find any portal shards I got put away. And then I could pick them up and put them up too. There's some. Now open up a little bit of space in these chests. There we go. Now I can put some stuff up here. No, I'm not getting rid of my hat. Let's see. Let's put away these blocks. I don't need them. I got one space open in here. Magic damage potion. That'll work. No space in this one. I got one space open in this one. Let's put away the bumblebee hood. And... There we go. Look at all these portal shards. I don't have to worry about blue portals for the rest of forever. Is that a... That's a bigger one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mine's a, the miners. I'm still part of the minor leagues. Let's put this back for extra healing. Alright, use four. Alright, ready for this, guys? Are we ready for this? Let's hope we are. Boss fight, here we come. Our first major boss fight, one of the great beasts. My character looks ready. Kind of looks like a, a squire or a, a knight. Not really a knight. I'll say a squire. Funny Jungo. Funny, what a name. Funny Jango. I went the wrong way. This place is like really, uh, the vegetation here is like pretty high. Some of the visuals in this game is pretty. Looks nice. Well, here we go. One eyeball. Great beast. Great beast. Oh. Alright. Now, in this boss fight, you gotta fight a big worm. But you can't hurt the worm until you hit a fat worm. I don't know how to explain that, really. There's a whole bunch of worms will spawn around the arena. And a whole bunch of them are about this size. Except for one. It's a large worm. Then you hit the large worm, which I think is the, uh, the big worm's tail. That's my assessment in the issue. It's the tail, which weakens the big worm. Then you're allowed to attack the big worm. So, let's go. And you'll see it'll come all clear when I actually start fighting it. Let's see if I can get good with these controls. There's the big worm. That's what the big worm looks like. You got a fat worm. You attack fat worm. Kill fat worm. Big worm pops. Keep rotating because he does that. Just keep rotating until he, when he does this right here, he'll spawn worms. Now you gotta go find the fat worm. There he is. And that weakens the big worm. And then you just shoot that big worm. And you just rinse and repeat. It becomes invincible until you hit the big worm again. It's not a very tough bus boss fight. The, I had more trouble with the second boss fight than this one. And when I get to the second one, you'll know why.
just keep going at it. There we go. Alright, just keep circling and circling because you don't want to get hit by that big acid ball. Big worm. Where are you, big worm? And I got hit by a big acid ball. You notice I'm not attacking the small worms. If you like collecting achievements or trophies, there is a trophy for killing the boss without killing any of the small worms. There you are, big worm. Ow. Oh, he didn't even hit me with that. It looked like he hit me. Two more rounds, maybe? Yeah. He usually throws two spit wads and then spawns big worms. Ow. The little worms still will attack you, so be careful with that. And dead. Exterminator and no, whack no worm. That's the achievement I was talking about when it says whack no worm. Means that you didn't take out any of the small worms. And I wanted the achievement. I knew about it, so why not? And you see all that loot down there. You got all that EXP money. A relic of the Thunder. That's kind of cool. Repair stones or sharpening stones. That's it. First boss fight is complete. Let's see what we are. Uh, what we got. All right. So we got a. Recipe for the Relic of Thunder. Use this tone to learn a new recipe. Ooh, and I got a haul away Elsa. Elsa. From the movie Frozen. Leech chance, 12%. Leech, 15%. It was the pirate who inv invented the technology for these. Though no one knows where they stole it from. So it's a pistol. But my attack damage for a bow is just 25. Oh. Oh. Can I use this? Do you need ammo? No? You don't even need ammo. Guys, that's awesome. Got myself a pistol. And it has a lot more damage in my, uh, copper bow. I'm not sure about the masterwork bow though, but Land Lover's Leap. New Island, here we come. Land Lover's Leap, level 11. Well met, friend. I see you are no worse for wear after your encounter with the ancient worm. I only wish I could be myself of old, so we could have fought him together. Give pause for the next great beast in your path. He is mightier and more dangerous still. The pirate Brinebeard has uh, the totem you need to unlock his portal, though alas he is no longer in Landlubber's Leap. Okay. Well, what uh, my what it feels like or seems like right now is that we're heading into the salt stone. But it seems like we're heading into something that's pirate related. I know I needed these for the next uh, sharpening stone. The sharpening stones upgrade, and I do believe the next ones I need is the basalt. It's going to be a while before we fight the next boss because you want to get ready for it. And I did have trouble with this this next one. I did manage to take him out on the PS4, but I still had trouble with it for a bit. Until I learned how to fight him. 
each, like I said in a previous episode, is that the boss fights in this game have a a technique to you to take them out. Like the worm had the fat worm. You got to take out the fat worm before you can do damage to the big worm. And the next boss does as well. All right. Well, yeah, I wanted I wanted to collect up all that basalt as much as I can because this is used to upgrade your tables. The uh, some of them. And you need this to make uh, a higher version of the sharpening stone. So let's hope. Uh, hopefully, this pistol is going to be good. Then we'll come back and mine some more of this later. I don't want to pick that up. I'll just leave it there. I'm kind of worried about this book. Should I use it? New recipe: Relic of Thunder. Relic of Thunder. Is it in here? Alchemy table. Relic of Thunder. A strange buzzing relic. I've never seen this thing before. Cat Paws allows you to reduce your fall damage by 90% for one minute. But this right here, I've never seen this before, even on the, the PS4 version. Hmm. So I don't even know what it is. There you go, have some some bullets your way. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we are in a pirate place. Don't tell the pirates, but their barrels of drink are just club soda and turnip juice. Sounds delicious. Oh, flags, explosive barrels, cannonball, pirate chest that you can't use to store anything. It's just there. It's just open. Open carriage, closed carriage, wanted poster. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, it looks like our new enemy types. And these guys do have pistols, if I remember correctly. Oh. Ow, that really hurt. And I died. I don't know about that, uh, the pistol. It seems like the projectiles are quite slow. Let's go back to my bow. Yeah, the pistol has more damage, but spread out amongst the pellets. No. Got him. Now how much EXP is he worth? 286. That's not bad. For a small enemy. Well, I took a lot of damage from him. Ow. That's the problem. They do a lot of damage if you get up close. Well. That hurt. Yeah, blind me, potion. Blind me. Not like I might be in a battle or something. <laughs> a Sino. That looks like a dungeon to me. Gallows Grace. So it's going to take a bit of time, so I might play off camera for a bit. Besides building on my island, I might start something there. And try to level up a bit, which is useful in an RPG. Trust me, <laughs> I think leveling up in an RPG is a good idea. 
Observe trying to find a way up. There we go. Well, I'm, I was just on the other side of this. I'm gonna head over to this guy. Gallows Grace. Plague sees me. Plague sees me. I've only a few things left to do for I can officially join the ranks of the, these here pirate crew. I need to walk the plank. Yet yeah, I'm def uh, deathly afraid of the water. Can you please jump in the whale for me? I don't want to be a pirate in training forever. I guess. Go on then. There's a pirate anchor at the bottom of the, uh, of the well. You have to bring it to me if I'm to pass the exam. Don't worry about these two. Cheating is encouraged at pirate school. Wow. I do all the work and you do, get, you, you do nothing. Ow. You're not supposed to kill me with this. And I hit everything except the, the anchor. There we go. Got ourselves an anchor. Oh, I see what you want me to do here. Cannon. Fire. Cannonballs. Explosive barrels. Okay. Nice. There's some salt down here. Roofing tile, where'd that come from? Alright, and we are... That opened up a hole that led to... The uh, spawn area, or the landing pad. So we're going to complete this quest, and then probably going to end the episode. I'm out of time. <clears throat> and I didn't get plagued with uh, extreme coughing or anything. Yay. Miracles do happen, guys. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Thanks. Here, I paid for this reward with part of my graduation money. Wow, look at that EXP. The last time I got just under a thousand. This time I just got two thousand. Awesome. Now that is some good leveling up right there. Alright, so what I'm going to do is in between the, uh, this episode and next episode, I'm going to try to level up a bit more. Not advance any storylines or do quests. I will save all that for on camera. But the other stuff is leveling up and maybe uh, building my next tool or my bow. Love to have that uh, masterwork bow. So I'm going to work on that. Alright guys, well, I'm going to call that an episode here. And next episode we'll start right here. Or somewhere close to here. And we're going to start doing more quests. We get, uh, we need to go back to the previous islands because there's quests to do on those islands as well. I'm kind of rushing it a bit, which I don't need to do. It's an RPG. And doing quests and whatnot is what gets you the most EXP. So, But because I'm on YouTube, I'm thinking I have to rush everything. Just like I did Traria, which was a big mistake. So I'm not going to rush it. There's no point in rushing something. I'm playing a game to have fun with a game. And I'm doing it to entertain you guys. So at the same time. So let me enjoy these games. as how I played them on my off time. And hope you guys enjoy what I'm doing. Alright guys. If you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation. Hit that subscribe button and join today. Love to see those numbers grow. They've been stuck at 13 for like 3 months. 2 months. And, um, so if you are listening out there and you make it this far in my videos, please subscribe to show me that you, that you are listening, that somebody out there sees my videos. And, if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or entertaining, hit that like button to show you support. And if you didn't, still hit that like button because I am still learning. Give me a chance here. And, next to that uh, subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon up here. When you hit that bell icon, you'll be, uh, become part of the meerkat nation notification squad so everything i upload you'll be notified of so you don't miss anything i do on these awesome adventures all right well you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you later bye bye